In the equities quadrant, in what was a pretty solid day for the indices in terms of change on the day, the Dow led all indices on one. It ended up being a pretty low volume day, despite the late day announcement, which pushed all the indices, that's the Dow, the Russell, the S&P, and the NASDAQ, toward the highs of the day and toward the end of the day that a U.S. delegation is headed to China to re, uh, restart face-to-face -face negotiations. They probably won't arrive until Monday, but this news was put out by several news services, has not been confirmed by either government as of the time that I'm speaking to you now, but that is built into the markets, at least where they were at the end of the day. But it was a low volume day. We really had the lowest volume in the Dow, despite again, it leading all four of the major indices, in terms of change on the day, finishing up near three quarters of 1%. Um, it was the lowest volume we've seen since July 3rd, which was pre-holiday volume. So that's pretty low, it's still higher than July 3rd. But since then, this is the lowest volume day if you don't count July 3rd. So it's not that convincing of a rally. We ended up the day a less than 1% away from a new all-time high, which is again significant. Now we haven't moved that far away from it in sort of the sideways to down movement that we've had. But part of that is interesting because being that close to the high, it doesn't take that much news uh, Fed rate hike almost pushed it up there. Now the U.S.-China trade talks almost push it up there. We are just not that far away from the high. And solid earnings, especially in Dow components, is part of the reason the Dow is leading and part of the reason it's so close to that all-time high. Coca-Cola this morning beat on the revenue number and the EPS number. United Technologies did the same. Both Dow components making up for some of the weakness we've seen in the Dow lately with the trouble that Bo Boeing has been having pulling the Dow down. So the Dow's playing a little little bit of catch up, but again on low volume, United Technologies beat on EPS, beat on revenue, and their aerospace division did pretty well. Also Hasbro, which is not a Dow component, but kind of fits in with those consumer staples and the industrials that fit in with the Dow. Uh, Hasbro had a pretty good year as well, based on some of the toys based off of movies that have been very popular as well. So Dow components and Dow style stocks have been doing well on the earnings front, helping to push the Dow, play a little bit of catch up from the weakness of Boeing.